Adirondack chairs have a timeless design that's remained popular since their introduction in the early 1900s. No matter what style your outdoor space is, these simple wooden chairs are a classic fit and painting them is a great way to bring in some unexpected color. Constant exposure to the elements can make any outdoor furniture show wear and tear sooner than if kept on a covered porch or other enclosed area. So to keep them in peak condition, use a high quality exterior paint meant to withstand the elements. Start by washing your chair. It's important to have a clean surface for a smooth finish and so paint will adhere. Then let the chair dry thoroughly. Place the chair upside down on top of a drop cloth. Wiggle the arms, legs, seat, and back. If the joints are loose, tighten the screws or bolts with a screwdriver or an adjustable wrench. For loose areas without screws or bolts, apply a few drops of wood glue. Patch any cracks or dents with wood filler. If needed, larger holes are best filled with an epoxy. Lightly sand the entire chair. Use a fine grit sandpaper such as 180 grit to smooth the surface and help the new paint adhere. If you're using a semi-gloss or gloss paint, be especially careful with this step. Glossy paints reveal imperfections, so try to get the surface as smooth as possible. After sanding, thoroughly wipe the surface using a tack cloth or clean rag to remove all the sanding dust. We're using an exterior paint and primer in one, so there's no need to prime first. However, if you're painting over unfinished redwood or cedar, these are bleeding woods that need to be sealed first. Your neighborhood ace can recommend the right primer for your surface. Once the surface is prepped, you're ready to start painting. With the chair turned upside down, Begin by painting the underside of the seat, armrests, and legs. When the paint is dry, turn the chair over and paint the remaining surfaces. Start from the top and working your way down to the bottom. Let the paint dry thoroughly and apply a second coat if necessary. As an alternative, if you're using the chair indoors, you can use interior paint. Areas like the arms can be subject to a lot of wear and tear, so you can apply a coat of water-based polyurethane to your chair after the paint is thoroughly dry. Visit your neighborhood Ace Hardware for more helpful tips and advice. And you'll find us online at thepaintstudio.com and acehardware.com.